different elephants and a little bit about Asian elephants in general. Oh, here they come. She's keen. Now, the first elephant through the gate there who came running in, that's Tara. She's our youngest, she's 13, and she was born here at Twy Cross Zoo. A good way to spot Tara is that she hasn't got any hair on the tip of her tail, unlike the others. Now, the next elephant coming up onto the mound there, that's Mimbu. She's our matriarch, she's the leader of our herd. She's 27, and she came from a logging camp in Burma. So, if you see a star on her bum, that's the mark from the camp she used to work at. A good way to spot Mimbu is that her ears at the back flop forwards a little bit. Now, she's got what we would call kind of an elephant sandwich there, a bag of mixed fruit and vegetables and things. Now, the elephant closest to me just walking past, this is Norjahan. She's 15 and she came from India. Now that's why she's a little bit taller than the others. She's more an Indian elephant, and the other elephants are Burmese elephants. They're just a little bit squatter, so she's slightly longer limbed, and she's also our hairiest and our tallest elephant. And last of all, over near the water there, that's Tonzi. Now she's our eldest, she's 28. She came from the same logging camp as Mimbu did, so Tonzi's also got a star on her bum, and they used to work together, so they've known each other for a long time. They used to work together over in Burma until they came over here when their camp closed. Now the food they're having is what we call scatter feed. So it's chopped up fruit and veg thrown all over the enclosure. The idea is that the elephants use their trunks and they forage for the food. They can choose which bits they want to eat and which bits they want to leave. And we also make sure it goes down in the cracks in the rock as, the, as well because they've got an amazing sense of smell and we want them to sniff out the food and to use their trunks to find it. Now all the elephants here are girls and they live together in a herd as they would do in the wild. Male elephants, when they reach maturity, will go up and live on their own and they'll just meet with the females during the week. Two good ways to spot the difference between Asian and African elephants are to look at their ears. Asian elephants have much smaller ears than African elephants. And also to look at the tops of the elephants' heads. Asian elephants have got two bumps on top of their head, and African elephants are completely flat across theirs. Now these girls weigh almost three tons. Male elephants in the Asian species can get up to about five tons, and African elephants even bigger than that. Now they'll get through about four scatters of eight buckets of scatter feed, about four buckets of scatter feed, plus about six bales of hay as well. That's the main source of their diet. And the hay will be in the elephant house to keep us all stuff it into tyres, put it in tubes 